Hey, my name's Isaac, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this website. Instead of spending literally thousands of dollars to get someone else to do it for you, you're going to be able to take pride in knowing that you have created your very own website. And this is not just going to be some average run-of-the-mill website that you see all too often on the internet. This is going to be a clean, modern, and beautifully designed website that is fully responsive, meaning it will scale across all devices. What's more is I'm going to be showing you how you can get this website up and running, including purchasing a domain name and setting up hosting for just over one dollar. Yes, you did hear me correctly, one dollar. I know. Some of you are probably sitting there thinking, well, that sounds way too good to be true. And if not, it's probably illegal. Well, it's not too good to be true, and it's definitely not illegal. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do it. So essentially, by the end of this video, you're going to have yourself a website that looks like it's worth thousands of dollars, but will only cost you a little over one dollar to set up. And what's even better is that this website could potentially make you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in the years to come. Thousands of dollars for a small price of a little over one dollar. That is pretty much the definition of a smart investment. Now I know some of you are sitting there thinking, but Isaac, you don't understand, I'm so bad with this sort of stuff, I don't even know how to properly use my computer, let alone build my own website. Well you're in luck, because I've created this tutorial to be as easy to follow and understand as possible. I'm going to walk you through step by step with absolutely no steps skipped of how to build your very own website. From purchasing your domain name, to setting up hosting, installing WordPress, installing your own theme, right up to fully customizing your website so that it is uniquely your own. What once took hours and hours of coding just to create a heading can now be done simply and easily using a program called WordPress, which is literally used to make some of the biggest and most popular websites on the planet. So if you're ready, let's get into it. So firstly, what makes a good website? Well, let's just quickly go over some of the best. So the first one is Apple. Now, love them or hate them, there is absolutely no denying that this is just an incredible looking website. You've just got, you've got the beautiful navigation bar up here, with the logo, it's just, it's just clean, modern, simple. And then we've got the big giant image here that draws you in. And then as we scroll down, We've got just a really nice, clean looking design that just, it's just so easy on the eyes. And then we've got my favorite company in the world, Tesla, by my hero, Elon Musk. And look, he just doesn't do anything wrong. And again, it's got the beautiful navigation bar up here. We've got the logo in the corner. Not just an image this time, but an inc but incredible footage of some of his some of his electric cars. Then, as we scroll down, we just have a look, and it's just again a nice minimalistic, clean design. There's not just too much, and yeah, there's just not just too much going on. And then finally, we have the Samsung website. Now, again, got the really nice looking navigation bar up here and then a really big image to help us help draw you in and then as you scroll down just nice clean really clean and modern looking design the reason I'm showing you this is because we're going to be creating a website that is modeled off of these multi-million dollar websites so let's do a quick rundown of the website we'll be creating so this here is a website that by the end of today, you will have created. So at the top, we're going to have this beautiful menu. And I'm going to take you guys through step by step how we can have any of our own icons we'd like to have here. I'm going to show you how we can do that. I'm going to show you how, how we make any text we'd like to have here. Big, beautiful text with a subtext underneath a call to action that when people click it can take you to another page on your site or anything you would like them to go to then as we scroll down there's we're going to have this section here where you can 
show um, showcase what you offer, some, your qualities, your just really anything this section can be used for. It, and I'm going to show you guys how we can f completely customize this to make it however you we like. And I'm going to show you guys how you can go through and change each one of these little icons here to whatever you'd like them to be. And then scrolling down, we've got our simple, clean, beautiful about section where you can add your own photos in of yourself, of each of your team members. You can write their position, your name, and even better, you can link to each of your social media platforms, which is just fantastic. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. And you can also add in as many team members as you like and or remove as many as you like. So you might just have, want to have just the single image there. I'm going to and I'm going to show you how to do both those things. Then I'm going to show you how you can make a testimonial section where you can have comments from maybe your customers or clients or really anything you can use this um, use this for. And then scrolling down, we've got our uh, subscription section, which is extremely important and something that a lot of people, they just don't set up on a website because they think it's too difficult. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do it. And it's, there's not, not, not that, there's really not much to it and it's going to, it's going to be of such big reward to you because if you can start to get people's emails coming in then that is just going to help you grow so much and I can't wait to show you guys how to set that up and then as we scroll down we're going to be able to have a blog here um, where we can showcase our most latest blog post and then down to an incredibly beautiful looking contact form that I have to be honest um, you really don't see ones like this on many websites. A lot of them are really simple looking, but this one is just, you can see it yourself. It's just so nice looking. And then as we go down to the bottom, I'm going to show you guys how you can link to all your social media profiles so that anyone that comes to your site can click on these and then they can go off to your social media because social media is so important for the viability of your website or business. And then just quickly, I'm going to show you how we can make these beautiful looking about sections um, on separate pages, your blog. And yeah, I'm going to take you guys through step by step how we can do all of this. Before we get on to creating a new website, I'm just going to take you through a quick rundown of how today's tutorial is going to be structured. So I'm going to break it down into four easy to follow steps. Step one is going to be getting our domain name. Now some of you are probably sitting think, there thinking, well, I don't even know what a domain name is. Domain name is basically, just think of it as your website address, your website name. So for example, google.com. Yours would be yourbusinessname.com or even yourname.com. Now we're gonna go through a company called GoDaddy for this because they're They've been around for a long time and they have and they're probably one of the biggest suppliers of domains. So therefore they offer some of the cheapest prices. And I'm going to show you guys how you can get it even cheaper too, which will be great. Then we're going to go on to step two, which will be getting our hosting. Now, hosting is basically what's required in order for your website to run. Well, why is that? Because without hosting, you can't have a website. You see, you need somewhere that all your content, your images, whatever is going to be on your on your um, on your website needs somewhere to be stored, and that's where getting hosting comes in. And for that, we're going to get it through a company called Hostgator because they offer some of the best prices, and they have by far some of the best services. And I'm also going to show you guys how you can get that cheaper too. And then we'd go on, we're going to go on to step three. Now, step three is when we'll, start, we'll install WordPress. Now, what is WordPress? Well, WordPress is what's called a content management system. So in basic terms, just think of it as 
what we're going to be using to create our website. It's what's going to make our, our website building so much easier. It's not going to involve any code. We're not going to have to do any of that stuff. You can still do code using WordPress, but it's going to take a lot of that process out and it's going to help us create a really incredible website. And then step four, that's when we get on to the best part and that's when we're going to be creating your website. And this will involve installing a theme and then when get, I'm going to take you through step by threat step, fully customizing out that theme so that it looks uniquely your own. And then I'm also going to show you um, show you some really important plugins that I think you should get as well that just improve the whole quality of your site and yeah so that's basically what what this tutorial is going to encompass okay so now we're just going to quickly go over pricing so like I said for our domain name we're going to go through a company called GoDaddy and what they usually charge is $12 a year for registration of a domain but I'm going to be showing you guys how we can get that for just one dollar and then with our hosting HostGator like I said offers some of the best prices and they usually offer around they usually offer around ten dollars a month and but I'm going to show you guys how we can get that down to just one cent for our very first month and then installing WordPress, that is going to be completely free. And then creating our website, because we're going to do it ourselves instead of spending thousands of dollars for someone else to do it, it's going to be completely free. So all up, by the end of today, you're going to have your very own website for just a little over $1. Now you really can't get much cheaper than that. Okay, so now that we've covered everything, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so well done. You've made it to step one, which is going to involve purchasing your domain name. You can now officially say that you've made your first step to creating your very own website. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to a website called GoDaddy. Alright, so hit enter and you're going to be brought to their site. Now what GoDaddy is, is basically a search engine for domain names. Now. GoDaddy is one of the biggest suppliers in domain names, so therefore they can offer some really good prices, some really cheap prices. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go through and you're going to you're going to use this search bar here like you'd use a Google search to search for your new domain name that you're going to go with. I'll give you an example. So just say you excitedly, oh, my business name. So you put in your business name, super excited you're ready to go what is this no go away and you hit my business name and let's see if it's free and look at that it's taken what what do you do well at this point you may as well throw in the towel and give up only joking so in this case this is most likely what you're going to encounter um, when you're searching for a business name because your business name or blog name whatever you're going to go with a lot of the time a lot of things are taken so sometimes it takes a bit of ingenuity you might have to make up words make up names or if you've already got a solid business name in place you want to go go with if you're a business out there what you're going to want to do is um, just say you're a media this is an example just say you're a media company so you would put on the end of whatever your your business name is you would put on the end media and let's search again and see if that's free and look at that awesome it's free my biz my business name media.com so for example you might be called ascend and you'd be called ascend media.com and that might be free um, and that's just as good and 
And so what you want to do all the time, you want to try and always go with a .com website. Now, there's all these other, there's just everything available these days. This is .media, .co, .info, .biz, .net, .au, .com, .au. But the your most common and your most popular one you should you should try to get is your dot com because people just most people don't even know that all these other ones exist they just assume that every website is called dot com so if you don't have a dot com you're most likely going to lose out on a lot of traffic there are exemptions to this because if you're a dot you're an organization perhaps you would go with dot org but for today we're talking about dot com is most of the time the best thing you can pick Alrighty, so just say you've you've picked your name, and we're gonna go with clean. I'm gonna go with clean modern website. Let's say I want that. You wouldn't probably want that as your real bit name, but for the sake of today, and look at that, it's free. Awesome. So I'm happy with that. Your domain name is available, but there's one thing. This is gonna cost twelve dollars, which is still really cheap. But I told you guys, remember, you're going to get this for um, just $1. So what you want to do now is you're going to go, want to go down. And I'll, in the description, I've got a link which is going to open up and allow you to get your domain for just $0.99. Cent. So I'm going to assume that you've clicked that link. And then once you do that, you hit here. And look at that. You're brought up with, you're going to get your .com for 99 cents. Now, what will happen, might happen sometimes is with these, sometimes the links get a bit confused and they think you might be from another country. Just see, simply select your own country. Look at that. Easy. Done. Now, what you're going to do, you've decided on your business name now, blog name, whatever. So I decided on cleanmodernwebsite.com. And you're going to hit search again. And look at that. Domain name is available. And how, how good's that? It's now, it's just 99 cents. So you're going to hit add to cart. And then you're going to go continue to cart. So what's going to happen next is you're going to be brought to this screen here and you're going to be scrolling down. Now this might be already selected for you, um, privacy protection, so you're going to hit no thanks. You can have privacy protection. It is only $8 extra. Um, it's, it is an optional feature though. Basically what it does is means that if someone is to search you through like a who is directory, um, they would be able to find some of your details. So. It's not necessary, but it's something you can get if you want. But for today, we're going to go, no thanks. And then you keep scrolling down and start your website for free. Well, the thing, services that these companies usually offer, offer, offer really aren't that good. We're going to create one much better than what they would offer. And then you're going to make sure that you have no thanks selected here because of what it's saying. It wants to create a unique like custom email for your website and they're asking for six dollars forty nine a month which really you don't need to pay that because I'm actually going to show you guys how you can simply make one for free and quite easily so we'll go through that later on so with all the all this being done you're gonna hit continue with these options Okay, so you're going to be brought to here. You're going to see the codes put in, and now the GoDaddy's trying to be a cheeky devil here, and they've added two years on. So what you want to do is you're just going to select one year, and look at that. You've got it for just $0.99, cents, $1. Now, of course, there is a $0.37 cent tax because no matter what, you can't avoid taxes. The tax man always has to get something. That's just the world we live in. You can't avoid taxes. Okay, so just make sure you've got everything good to go, right as rain. What you're going to do is you're going to go to proceed to checkout. Alright, so you're going to be brought to this section here. 
So, you, I'm going to be assuming you don't already have a username and password. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to create account. Okay, so you're going to be brought to this section here. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in your email, your username, your password, make up a password, and then make up some kind of pin. And make sure you don't forget this pin because, um, yeah, GoDaddy might ask for it one day down the track. So think of it, have a pin that's easy to remember. Obviously not 1111, but go with something that's easy enough to remember. Okay, so with your email, you're going to want to put in your, you're going to want to use an email that you use frequently, the one that you visit all the time because you don't want to miss any any changes to your account or any updates that you might get from GoDaddy. So I'd highly recommend that you have your, use your personal email for this section. So obviously I'm not going to put in my personal email because it's already taken. Um, I already have an account with GoDaddy, but um, you would, I'd, most your best bet would be to put in your personal email here or one that you use frequently. Then you're going to go through and you're going to go to username. It automatically pre-fills it, username being the same as your email. You, you're welcome to put in um, whatever you want. You could whatever your name is, Isaac777. You put that in and look, it's I think it's free. Yeah, it's free, but it's always easiest. You could just do what your pre-fill one is. Um, and then you're going to go down to password, make up whatever you want, make sure that it fills out all the pre-required material and good. And then you're going to go through, like I said, you want to make sure that your pin is something that you can still remember because GoDaddy might call you up one day and they ask for identification pin, da 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 da. Just make something that you can um, remember. Okay, so all that being done, everything's good to go. You're just going to hit create account. That might come up for you. It's just a little error that sometimes comes up. So what you're going to do is you're going to put in your first name, Isaac. Okay, so you put in your address, um, put it all in. Okay, so you're going to put in your credit card details in. Um, make sure that's all good. Okay, so once you've put in all your um, data, you've got all, everything filled out, everything's done, and then um, what you want to do is you're going to hit continue. Okay, so well done. You've just you've done it. You've just purchased your own domain name. What's going to happen is you're going to be brought to this screen here, and you're going to have your order details. And I'd recommend um, clicking this and printing out your receipt or saving it as a PDF. And yeah, you've got all your account information here and everything's good to go. So what we're going to do next is GoDaddy would have sent us a couple of emails in regards to purchasing our domain. So we're going to go through and go to there. So you're going to go through to your email and you're going to check your first email you got from so you're going to you got a congratulations Isaac you've got your um you've got you've purchased your domain da 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 da, da. um and i would really highly recommend that you um save this in some way star it whatever um so that you can come back to it at any time because it's got here your customer number so you're gonna want to come back to this custom number maybe um, I'd recommend copying and uh, copying and pasting these into a word document and putting them somewhere because you want you're gonna need that customer number to log in once you've logged out all right so that's all good um, don't need to really click anything then let's go back we had another one from them so you can need a second one saying action required please verify your email address. So if you don't verify it, they'll um, put your domain on hold until you've confirmed that you have a real email address. So you've got here, you're required to put your address. So all you're going to do is 
Um, you can hit verify email now. And it'll load. And your emails ver are verified. And awesome. So what you can do, see now you've see you've converted into the number there. You can go to go to my account. Okay, so you arrive at this page here and it's what it's going to do. It's going to show you, yep, this is your domain that you own. This is going to be your your domain. So I've got it here. Mine is cleanmodernwebsite.com. Um, and yeah, this is like where we can control a few things. Um, so if you didn't add privacy and you still want to, you can put that on now. Um, but you've got all this, all this other stuff. Um, don't need to worry about it. What we're going to do, we're going to leave that for now because now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to step two, which is going to be getting our hosting. Jeez, you're unstoppable. Step three, you're getting close now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to installing WordPress. So this is what we're going to use, remember, to build our website. So why do we have to install WordPress, you ask? Well, now that you've got your domain name and hosting, yes, you essentially have got to the point of where well, we're going to get on to building our website. But let's have a look at our website. So you can do this with yours too. So if you want to put in your website address and hit enter, you're going to be brought to here. So, yeah, that's, you probably get to this page and you're like, what? What is this? Just, that doesn't look like a website. That Don't worry. If you, this section, this is what it looks like before we've installed WordPress. So remember this, because this is, this, this is a big day for you. This is, this is, you'll remember, this is what your website started out as, looking like this. But we're going to soon have it looking. We're going to soon have it looking spectacular. All right, so let's get to it then. So what you're going to want to do is get back to your, go back to your email from HostGator, your account info email that is. And what you're going to have is what you're going to want to do is you want to going to click on this and you're going to hit open in new tab because you want to keep this email open because it's got some important information for us. So you're going to hit new tab and you'll be brought to here, cPanel. So like I said, cPanel is the back end of your website and it's going to ask you for your username and your password. So what you're going to want to do is go back here and your username will be given for you and you're going to copy that through. Copy and paste it just so you definitely get it right. Then you're going to go back to your password and you want to make sure that you copy all of it like I almost missed it all then. You want to copy that because remember you're not going to be able to write it. And you're going to paste that in. Then we're going to hit log in. So get excited because this is going to be logging in to the back end of our website. So you're going to hit log in. And look at that. Alrighty, so now you're brought into the control panel. I know you're looking at this, you're just thinking, whoa, I'm in over my head, this looks crazy. I've made it through steps one and two. I'm pretty proud of myself for getting to that, but now this just looks, nah, I'm going to give up. This is too much. It's okay. Relax. I'll show you, I'll show you through how we get through this. So... Let's go through one of the most important things, I think, which is changing our password because you really don't want to have to try and go back to your emails every time just for that crazy ass password. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to here and you'll see a section that says password and security. So like on GoDaddy, you're going to have your old password. So you're going to hit copy that in, make sure you've got it and paste it in. Now you just simply make up your own. I'm hoping that by now you would realize it's smart to use the same one you probably used for GoDaddy and you probably use everywhere. Use that, 
put it in and hit change your password now. Wait for it to redirect you back. And it's probably going to ask you to log in again. I didn't know how to do that, but hey, it's always fun to do, to log in twice, isn't it? So, oh, it's remembering me now. So you're going to click that and you can put in your brand new password and hit enter and boom. Logged in and that's with your brand new password. All right, so we're back to this super confusing looking area. We don't need to worry about anything else, what any of this means really for today. All we needed to go to is a button called WordPress installer. Okay, so depending on your speed of your internet connection, will vary about how long it'll take. And Okay, so you see below here, let a pro do it for you. WordPress all in one. Um, yeah, you're not gonna pay this amount of money. You don't need someone to sh do it for you because remember, I'm here to show you how to do it. Saving you a heap of money. So you're gonna hit your, click your domain there and you wanna make sure that nothing is selected in your directory because you don't want it to install onto maybe, I don't know, your website.com slash whatever you accidentally put there because it'll install it to that and not actually to your whole website. So what you're gonna do, this is starting to get to the exciting part, you're gonna hit next. All right, so you're gonna get to this next part and what it's gonna ask for is some install details. So it's gonna have your blog tile, admin user, da 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 da. So for your blog title, um, you can change this at any time. So basically, just you can put in your business name there, your website name, your domain name, whatever really. Um, you're gonna put in, I'm just gonna put in clean, I'm just gonna put in clean, modern website, and then admin user. So make up something that you'll remember. You can, it can be your full name. Um, or you can just have something like maybe I'm gonna put in Isaac B. And remember, this is what you're gonna to use to log in. And then you're gonna have your first name and your last name. And then you're gonna put in your email address. So, all right, so once all your information's in, you're gonna to wanna to come down here and tick your terms of service, make sure it's it's ticked um, and have that automatically create a new database for this installation. So before you go ahead, make sure you've got the username that you want to use and you've got all this information filled out and make sure you have your correct email. So the email that you've been using for everything today, put that in there. Then we're going to hit install. This is getting onto the exciting part. This is installing WordPress. So you're going to hit install. And look at this, it's installing the anticipation. It's building our website, it's moving on to, moving on and look at that. I think it's done. All right, so now that WordPress is installed, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go check your emails again because you're gonna wanna, you're gonna, because you're going to have got an email from HostGator about your recent WordPress installation. And you're gonna get this saying, congratulations, your new WordPress has been in install has been completed. Pretty exciting really, because you've made it, you really have, you've made it a long way. Um, we're really on, to, on our way now to building your website. So, you're gonna have, this is a very important section here again. So what we're gonna have is we're gonna to go to this link here. This link, what it's gonna do is it's gonna enable us to log in to our website. What you're gonna to wanna to do is put that up there. You're gonna paste that in, hit enter. 
and this is officially where the back end of your website so now you get what you're going to want to do is go back to here and remember that was the username we made up before when we installed it so don't forget that one what you get made it because you actually can't change that later on and then you're going to go back down to your password oh and look at this again we've got some crazy password I hope Isaac shows me how to change that yes I will and we're gonna go put your password in here now I'm gonna build the anticipation because once we hit this login button our website is going to officially be live so we're gonna click it in three two one and go logging in and welcome to WordPress so we're gonna have this come up here now this is this is the official I know I've said it many times but you can think of cPanel as the back back end the very back end but this is the website builder this is the back end of our website this is gonna be where it, all the magic is going to happen so you're probably looking at this and you still might be feeling a little bit confused but remember I'm gonna show you through this and by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be a WordPress pro you're gonna so by now you're probably thinking well all this is done can I look at my website yes you can you can see what your website looks like so far so what we're going to do is we're going to go to here it's going to say your web whatever yours is up here and you can hit visit site all right so get excited this is your official website and then there you go you'll be brought to here and it's official you now have a website pat yourself on the back that's quite an accomplishment most pe a lot of people never get to this point of even knowing how to do any of this themselves so pat yourself on the back you've made it a long way but I'm guessing some of you are probably sitting there thinking so I just wasted this time to get a website that looks like this it like it looks okay and it's pretty cool that I have my own website but it looks a little basic yeah I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna lie it looks very basic but remember what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through fully customizing your theme which means we're moving on to our final step which is creating our website well done you've made it to step for the final step I know I've already said it but you really should pat yourself on the back because you've made it a long way you've you've made it through some of you might have started out you didn't even know what a domain is now you've bought yourself a domain you've set up hosting you've connected hosting and domain your domain together and then you've installed WordPress that's quite an accomplishment so really well done awesome because now, now and now we're going to get on to the best part which is actually creating our website and this part is going to be a lot more fun so let's go to your website so remember we you type in, you're going to type in your website now to get to the back end remember what we do we type in WP admin so this is going to bring us to the back end of our website always remember that so when you don't no longer watching this video and in the future when you need to change things about your website you just go to WP admin and hit enter now you're gonna be brought to here so this is where we log in to our website now I'm hoping that you remember your username here so you're gonna put that in your username and then your password so if you have I can't remember it's a very long one so what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your emails and you're going to find your remember you got a thank you email thanks for creating your wrong one 
Um, so remember, we're going to go to congrat this one here. And this is the one we got from HostGator when we set up our WordPress. And see, if you did forget your username, it's there for you. But here's the big long password. I'm going to show you guys how we can change that once we log in because it's going to be too hard to remember. But let's just put that there and hit log in. Okay, so here we are. Back to WordPress again. Um, so this is officially WordPress. I know you've already seen it before, but now we're going to really go through it because this is going to be when we're going to be creating our website. So you can click this off. I don't need help because you're going to get someone that's going to help you. You're watching this video. Okay guys, so before we get on to installing the WordPress theme and fully customizing our website, let's just get one more thing out of the way, which is we want to go. We want to change our password, so because you don't want to have to copy and paste that really long one in every time. So we may as well get get the last little mundane task out of the way. So you're going to go to here, which is up here will be your um, username, and you're going to go edit my profile. Now you're going to scroll down to the very bottom, and you're going to see a thing that says generate password, new password. You just click that. Now it generates you a crazy ass long one again, but you can type in um, whatever you would like to have. So let's just say I type in my new password that I'd like, and it said that it's okay. Make sure you know what you wrote, because it doesn't actually, which I find really funny, it doesn't do a compare one, which is, I'm just gonna make more sure one more time. Because that's very strange, it doesn't do a compare. But anyway, we'll go. You're gonna hit update profile, and that'll take. That will work effective immediately. All right. So we're back here. So before we get on to installing the theme, let's just do a quick little rundown of everything we have here. So um, we're gonna go through it all individually for certain things. But let's just a quick overview. So this here is your dashboard. Now, you have things here like your posts, we'll go into that later, but that's how you edit, create, edit, create um, posts. This is media, so this is where we can add new um, photos, videos, images, everything there. Pages, so they are what, we'll go into that more as well, but pages are essentially like these, they'll come up looking like this on the top of your website. So pages are like what you use as where your menus are. And appearance is where we're going to go to to installing our theme. Um, plugins we're going to go into as well. Basically what plugins are are great little ways of improving the functionality of your website and allowing it to be able to do extra things that it couldn't previously do. So that users is just... Um, like uh, your username is this here, and then tools. Um, we probably you don't probably don't really need to worry about that. And then we've got our settings here, um, which again you probably don't need to worry about too much. But I can go into it a little bit. All right, so that's the structure of WordPress. All right, so we're just going to do a little bit more housekeeping. So these are just some good things that we can do to speed up our website and also just clean it up a bit because it is it's a lot it's a lot to look at sometimes so firstly I would just recommend you go through and you click these just to close them up that looks a lot nicer then what we're going to also do is we're going to go into settings and down to a thing called permalinks now by default it is on a thing called a custom name structure of post name month day. Now, if you're sitting there confused, basically what this means is that if, when you make posts in the future for your website, it's going to have a structure up in the URL up here of it would have whatever you've called your post, and then it will have the month you put it up, and then it would have the day. Now, have you you don't really ever see many websites having that, and it's this is just not a good thing to have because it confuses the Google Search Console, which is what's used to help rank your website. And when you have 
something like that, it can severely affect your ranking on on Google, which means less traffic to your website, really. So what you want to do is go to here and click post name and now it'll just do whatever you call your post will be at the end there which is a lot nicer looking and it's much better for the Google search console. Alright so once that's done you're going to scroll down and you're going to make sure you hit save changes. You're going to wait for that to go and all good change it saved. Now we're going to go into the plugin section and open that up because what you'll find is it is flooded with all this I'll call it bloatware, bloat um, bloat plugins that just aren't needed so we're going to go to Acusmet we don't need that one and we're going to go to Google Analytics uncheck check that, Hello Dolly um, Jetpack, it's not needed, Mojo and Optin, it's yet again not needed and I'll show you a much better contact form to have so you can uncheck that. So you're going to click all of them and you're going to hit bulk actions and you are going to hit delete. So and then you can hit apply and it's going to remove all those. And so are you sure you want to get rid of them? Yes you do. So you're just going to let it go through and do its business. I'm going to show you some much better plugins that we're going to be able to install. So just wait there while it does it all for us. Oh, okay, so it's asking me to deactivate it first and then delete it. So that's annoying. Okay, so you hit that and delete. Okay. All right, let's just do this. Click up there and it ticks all of them. And you're just going to go delete now that they're deactivated. Hit that and okay okay it should be deleting it yes I do want to delete them please okay so we have to go through individually so you want to hit that um, get rid of that we don't need it and we don't need this one I don't ever know what it is to be honest so you're going to get rid of that and hit OK and w I'm going to show you guys how we can get um, I'm going to give you some much better plugins than what, what initially comes with it so finally hit delete there okay so now that we've done all our housekeeping everything's good cleaned up Let's go on to installing our theme. So what you're going to want to do is go to Appearance, Themes. Now you'll see here, this is the theme that's installed, the very, very basic looking theme. What we're going to want to do though is we want to put a much nicer looking one. So we're going to go to Add New. And there are literally thousands and thousands of websites. Um, and a lot of them, the free ones especially, are just, they're really not very nice looking. Um, but I've done my searching, I searched for a long time for this, um, but I was able to find a theme that is completely free and it's just an amazing theme to use as a base to build up to a really nice looking website. So what you want to do is you want to hit, go to this here, you want to hit search for themes and you're going to type in Hestia and it's going to do the search for you and it's going to bring it up. What you're going to do is you're going to hit install and it's going to start installing it for us and then what you want to do is you want to hit activate. All right, so let's just confirm that the new theme has installed. So we're going to go to here and click visit site. So the theme has installed and as you can see, it is very, very basic looking. But now I'm going to take you guys through step by step how we're going to fully customize out this theme so that it's going to turn into an incredible looking site. 
All right, so let's get on to it. So the first thing I want you doing is going up here and we're gonna go back to our dashboard. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to go to, um, you're gonna to go to pages and you're gonna hit add new. Now what I want you to do here is type in for me, home, make sure you've got a capital H there, home, put that in and then just hit publish. Done, and then what we're gonna do, repeat the process, you're gonna hit add new again, and you're gonna type for me blog, and hit publish. Okay, and then the next step I want you to do is you're gonna go to setting, reading. Now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna change it to static page, you're gonna change home page to home, and post page to blog and you can hit save changes for me. Now if we have a look back at our site you'll see that it's started to um, apply a few changes for us. So we're going to go back to our site and you can hit visit, have a look. There you go. So as you can see it's starting to kind of look like the website that we had but it's still quite far from it. So we're going to go through further now into customizing it. So the next thing you're going to want to do then is you're going to go back to our dashboard again and what we're going to do now is install some of the recommended plugins that are used to um, make this work that, that are used for this theme. So you're going to go to appearance and then you're going to go about Hestia here and it'll have two little notifications and you'll see why in a moment. So you're going to hit there about Hestia and what I want you to do is go to recommended actions and and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit install and activate the theme theme aisle companion and then what you're going to do also is install pirate forms so inst put that in for me and that's going to be helping with creating our really nice looking um, contact form Okay, so now let's have a look back at our website and see what those two plugins have helped with. Um, helped with. So if you go back here and hit visit site, and if I scroll down for you guys, as you can see, it's starting to look a lot nicer. Um, we've got our testimonials section now. We've got um, we've got our about and. Then we've got the blog there, and look now, we've got that really nice looking contact form. So we just want to make sure that this contact form is all linked up with our, with our site. So what you want to do then for that is you're going to go to Dashboard, and you're going to go down to Pirate Forms, which is what we installed, remember? So you're just going to click that one for me. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're here is you're going to go to Options, and what I want you to do is um, make sure it should have already pre-filled your email. Whichever email you signed up for, um, it would have pre-filled it here. So whenever someone uses a contact form, it's going to go to that email. So if, the, if for any reason you want to change it to a different one, you can just type it in there and hit save changes. But something I would recommend is changing this default one that they make here um, to so that the contact, you get a notification, go to that email as well. Um, whatever email you you specify and then just simply hit save changes all good so all with all that done next we want to go to this section how to use and you'll see a little um, bit of text here and what I want you to do is copy that and we're going to go back to pages add new now you're going to type here contact just like we did last time and Make sure that you collect. Make sure you select text here, because um, this is where we put in code, and then you're just going to hit um, paste, put it in there, and hit publish. Okay, so now that we've done that, it means that our um, contact form is synced up with our site and also with your specified email. So now that'll be set up for people to be able to contact you. Okay, so now that we've got all the more mundane stuff out of the way of customizing our site, 
let's move on to more of the fun stuff. So if you want to go back to our website, um, just have a quick look. You'll notice here that we don't have a menu up here. It's there's nothing here yet. So what we're going to do is you're going to go back to your dash, back to the dashboard, and what we're going to do is we're going to, go to appearance and then menus. So what we want to do next is you're going to hit create a new menu. And what I want you to do for me is call this um, is call this top top menu, and then just hit create. And then what you want to do is you're going to go through and tick each of these, and hit add to menu. So they've all been added there, and then you're going to hit. Um, and then make sure that you click primary menu so that's um, so that it will display up the top here um, you'll see in a moment and then we just hit save changes alright so if we go back to our site now and now you notice that we've got our menu up here so now I'm just going to quickly show you how we can put these in, in any order we like because you might look at this and I think that it looks wrong to have contact before home or blog so you want to have home first really and then then maybe blog and then contact so what I want you to do next is hit customize uh, and then come down to the menu section here and you go to the top menu and then just easily you can hit put the con home at the, at the top I'd advise having contact is the last one then blog and look at that looks a lot nicer now much better okay and then hit publish now if we can now we can exit that all right so our menu is looking pretty nice now it has um, it's very clean looking basic looking but I'm willing to bet you're probably thinking but it doesn't have those little icons well now we're going to move on to I'm going to show you how we can get those icons so all you're going to do is go back to dashboard and we're going to click we're going to go to plugins add new now what I want you to type in is menu icons and then you'll have this one here and then you're just going to simply click install now and then activate oh okay so now we've got our menu icons installed you'll see what this does so if we go back to our menu section so let's go to menus and let's we can and we're going to go through and you'll see now that there's a section to select an icon so you, you can hit that and you have this absolutely massive selection of um, what you would like and you can even search so you can type in home and look at that so that's going to be for our home I'm going to hit select I'd like that one and hit good yep and then our blog section um, let's find an icon for that so going back um, maybe for our blog we could have what would look good for so you can have anything you'd like to have for your blog but I think this one here right blog looks the best so you could have that icon there remember you can go through and whatever menus you've created um, follow the process I've given you and then you can apply any of these here um, so we're just going to hit select for our blog and down and then you're going to go to the contact and I want you to hit select and then I want you to type in mail and we're going to have this one here. We're going to select this because that's a good looking little icon to have for our contact. Then you can hit select. Okay, so now we've applied some icons to our menu. You just want to hit save. Remember, you can put whatever you'd like for those. It's up to you. Okay, so let's have a look back at our menu. So we're going to go to visit site. And look at that just it, it just takes it to a whole new level really it looks so much better with those little icons there now 
So, all right. So, what if you want to have a few more? Um, what if you want to have other things up here, like perhaps services or an about section? Well, I'll show you how we do that. So, you're just going to go here. Uh, you're going to go back to our dashboard. Um, so then we're going to go back to pages, add new. So just say I wanted to add in an about section. We're going to have a about section on the main page anyway, but this is just so that you got, uh, guys know how you actually create these. Um, can create your whatever menus you'd like to have at the top. So just say we make an about and you'd be able to go through and write whatever you'd like here. So you could have it, it would be good I think anyway to have it as a nice separate um, about that people can click to and perhaps this about section could go into far more detail than the one we're going to have on the front page. So that's what you can use that for. So all you just do is you hit publish. So that's now what is called a page. So what we do is we go back to our menu. We go back to menus and what you'll notice is that now we have an about section that's there. So we can simply just hit add to menu and you can actually, it should work if you just go drag the about up there because I think it makes the most sense to have about, about first and then let's select an icon for that. So you're going to hit, we can hit select here and I think an icon for what, for a an about, I think that looks like something that represents about. Um, you're just going to hit that. You can have whatever you like and then just hit select. And there we go. So if we hit save menu and that should be all done. So you can use that process um, that I've just shown you now of you go through, you create a page and then you come back to menus and it should be here. All you just do is tick it, add to menu. And then that's how you can create whatever you would like at the top bar menu and then you have whatever icon you want so let's just have a look back at our site again and go back to visit site and as you can see there is now an about section and it just yeah it, and then yeah now so now we have an about section okay so there's our top bar menu done so it's starting to look really nice I reckon so what we're going to do is now is we're going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to show you guys so if we, we've got here uh, you'll notice that it's got um, this down here um, I don't think it's needed in the footer I think what's better is to have our social media icons down the bottom here because people a lot of the time they expect to look somewhere maybe the header or the footer and go to find your social media icons and I think a good place to put them is at the bottom so let's go through how we can how we can add our social media icons onto the bottom. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to um, you're going to go to customize and what I want you to do is go to menus. Then you're going to go to social menu and you can change this to to, to footer. I'm going to simply change this to footer and socials footer and then what I want you to change it to is tick footer menu and untick. So with this um, customizer here you get to see everything happening live. So if we scroll down now and have a look we should have them there. Um, and there you go, look at that, there's all our social media icons. Now of course if people click then they wouldn't go to anything but all you have to do for that is you go through and you just simply put in your Facebook page here and so you can go through you can put in your Twitter, you could put in your Google, your LinkedIn, your Instagram, your Pinterest or your YouTube. Now just say for um, you don't have because most people they're not gonna have all of these so you can you can completely edit it out. So just say, who has most people don't have Google Plus. It's just something that's not really used all that much. So just say you don't want to have that on your website. All you do is simply just hit remove, and you'll see that it is now removed that section. So you could go through, and maybe you don't have Pinterest either. So you can just simply hit remove on that, and 
all good. So, so it's just that easy that you can remove ones that you um, that you just don't think are needed, and then you just hit publish and exit out of that. And now we have our menu done. It's starting to look really nice. And then we've got our social media icons that just look awesome. Okay, so our website is really starting to come together now. So let's get on to changing our display image here. Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to a new tab and I want you to type in Pixar Bay. So go to that, that site there, Pixar Bay. Now, so what what this site is, is a massive resource of just thousands, well actually I should say millions of free, of royalty free images. Well what's royalty free mean? Royalty free means that there's no copyright on them, on them which is very important for um, your website. You don't want to be putting on images that you just take from anywhere and they're got copyright behind them because you can be up for massive costs. So there's the sort of thing you have to be careful of when you're running a website or creating a website. Make sure that everything you have on there you have a license for. And luckily there's websites out there like this that offer um, just millions of th free photos that aren't just, they're not just average photos either, they're just incredible, really good photos that you can use completely free on your site with no no hassle. So, all right, so let's go through and let's find a really good image to use for our header. So, we, if you wanna have the same one that I've used, um, this is the one I used anyway, is I just typed in Aerial Man, um, and then if you scroll down, there is, there we go, there's a really, um, there's a one that I found that we used for the top. Now you can get whatever picture you want to have there. Yeah, so this is just an example of what you can use, but you can go out there and you can find whatever you want to use. I just thought, thought this was a really nice image to use, but you're welcome to use whatever you'd like. Find something that represents your business really. So you want to download this version here. We don't need the, the big giant 5,000 megapixels because it's going to be too much Although it'll be nice, it's just too much for your site to handle and it'll slow down the functionality. All that is needed is just um, an image like this. So you just hit download and that'll download for us. So before we go any further, I'm just going to show you how um, amazing this really is. So if you just typed in mountain and maybe you wanted to have a mountain for the top, um, You've got all these incredible images here that you could use for your site. Um, it really, it's just, there's endless. There is so much to choose from. Okay, so now that we've downloaded that image, what I want you to do is go back to here and you're gonna hit customize. And you'll be brought to this section. Now, this section here, we've already used it, but just a quick overview. Basically, this is where we can go through and we can fully customize everything about our site and it updates it in real time, which is just awesome. And what's even better is it has this um, easy navigation. So you can sim simply select, um, just like if you click here, this is actually our image, our big image behind here. So if you hit that, it's gonna take you straight to our image it's in the background so you you can change this to whatever you like so I'm gonna go through and you just hit upload a new file so something really easy to do for uploading your file is you can actually grab this and then just drop the file in easy as that and it'll upload for us take a little bit of time and then Awesome, so that image is now in. You just hit choose image. Now we just wait a little bit because it will update and look at that, that is just, it's starting to look nice now. So the next thing I want us to do is, let's go through and change our, our um, heading. So 
our heading text. So what you're going to do is hit this one here, and that's our title. So what did I? I had inspire here. But remember, you can have written whatever you like there. You could perhaps have um, welcome or your your name of the, your business, um, your website, just anything that you think will really draw people in. Um, then this part here, you can just type in whatever you'd like, um, and it'll update it in real time. If you don't want anything there, simply leave it blank, and it'll remove it for you like that. So that's really cool um, about it. And then we've got our call to action here. So you can change this to um, whatever you'd like. So perhaps you want to just have it as, I think a good one is says find out more find out more so people click that and you could direct them to whatever page you like so maybe you wanted it to go to your contact section I'm not sure um, you could simply just hit oh, I would go open link in new tab and we can just we're just gonna copy that across that's our URL and then um, you could hit that there and now, when people click that, um, if you, I could try it out now. When people click that, it takes them to the contact form, and you can have that as whatever you like. So don't worry, I'm going to show you how to make this contact form look a little bit nicer. But um, yeah, that's just a really good way. You can have it linked to your about section, um, anything really that you'd like to have people um, linked to. So all, once that's done, just simply, simply hit publish and you're good to go. Okay. So the next thing we're going to be moving on to is let's go on to actually how you can put whatever logo you would like to have here. So I'm betting some of you probably think I don't have, I'm just starting out. I don't have a logo. I don't have a business logo done up. Well, you're in luck because I'm going to show you how you can do it for free. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars to have someone else, someone design you a logo, you can go through and create something yourself uh, quite easily. That'll it'll make do for for now, really. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to a site called Logo. Type in Logo Maker with an R at the end. Open that up and. This is a free logo making site. So, for example, let's say we go through here, you can go browse all logos. These are all completely royalty free things that you can use. So then we go to abstract and find something that maybe represents your business, an icon. So perhaps you're scrolling down and you spot this one, you think, well, that one really um, represents my business. You can just simply hit um, select that and then go up to save and download and agree and you will now you have your logo so what I want you to do now is go back to here and go to customize and you're gonna hit once it loads you're going to hit um, the little blue icon here for our logo and this is where we can upload our logo so if we go select um, upload and then drop drop files here to upload and there we go we've got it in there and we hit select make sure that you get the whole logo and then just hit crop now we'll have it's gonna and now we'll let that load up and look at that we've got a really nice looking logo there and we're, as you scroll down it automatically um, becomes part of the heading like that now of course you can go through and you could select um, you could pick out, out of all these here there's so many that you could have as your little icon your little logo for your your site um, yeah, so you could have literally anything. So some of you are probably thinking, but what if I want to have text beside it? Well, you can do that too. So if we go back to what we made, 
So if we go back to so if we go back to that one we selected, oh we've got two now. Um, so you can just put that off to the side and let's just say you had something here. You just let's call it clean website. So this is the name of your website. It could be your own name, whatever you'd like. Clean website. Um, okay, and then you can and then you can drag it to wherever you'd like and just say there, that's looking excellent. That's what I'd like. And you can change that text color to whatever you'd like. So maybe you we would make it white because we want it to display on our website. And then you just hit again, save, and download and agree. So that's downloaded, and we go back here, we hit change logo and upload, select our file, and then make sure you highlight all of it and hit crop image. Now let's have a look what that looks like. Now look at that, even better. That looks really, really nice. So you can use that, you can use this site to make um, anything, any logo that you would like to make up. Now just to cover one more area of logo, just say you're a more of a you're more of a blogger, or you're a, you're creating a website that's for yourself, like a personal brand. Um, you don't want it to be like a business look. Maybe you just want to have your name there. You could use the same process, or what you could do is just say we remove that, and so it goes back to what it used to be, and just say you were creating your own personal brand, and you just wanted to call it whatever your name is. So maybe you. Um, an entrepreneur out there who's um, looking to have their own personal website, um, this is how you can do it. So, or so if you type in your name, and then what you do is hit publish, and you would have, you, and then now you would have your name up there. So that's how you can just have a simple looking one. All right. So now that that's done, we've we look we've done our whole top part of our website. Now let's move, let's start moving down our site and customizing it out even further. All right, so let's move on to the next section of our site. So this is where we can display our services, products, anything we offer, um, really just anything you would like to display here, you can fully customize it out. So let's go through how we can do that. So you're gonna go back to customize and wait for it to load and you're going to go to your site and we've got this here. So we've got all our little blue dots again. So we'll hit this one here and this is to change our um, to change our heading. So maybe you could have in this section services perhaps um, or you could have offers um, or what what we offer. Um, really, you can put whatever you want. Um, it's up to you. It, that, you can put whatever you want, and you could have whatever text you'd like to have here, um, or you could have no text. So you could type in whatever you'd like, um, and it'll update in real time. And so that's your secondary. Subtitle. So I don't really think you need it, but you can. You can use that as an option to put in whatever you'd like. All right. So now let's go on to how we can make these whatever we'd like to have. So let's. We've got our first one. You can change this text to whatever you'd like. So maybe you could make the heading results. Um, you can make it. You can make the heading results, and because you offer result, and then you can have a little text down here of just a short little explanation of why you offer results um, and yeah so just say I had what I had was responsive and we just, you can type that in and now we can change that to whatever icon we'd like and it'll update it in real time we can even make links to things so just say maybe you're a youtuber um, and you wanted to have it linking to your a YouTube channel um, you can look look at this. We can go through and we could click YouTube. We could change it to that. 
and then if we go down you could have your link to your you'd type in your you put in your YouTube link there and then what it would do is people could click that and it would take you them through to your YouTube channel so let's just quickly go through and um, just say we edited it all out um, so just say I wanted to have that and I'll have responsive and then let's go through and we'll, we'll do the second one so we do our second one um, quality I don't really like that that image you could have um, maybe a diamond looks better um, which I do I think it looks much better and you would have you could make it um, you could put maybe you could put in whatever text you like there um, and then you can have a link to something something that you would like to have it linked to there okay and then you can go through and you can change your third and final one and just say it was um, affordable so you wanted to have affordable written there and you'd obviously want a better looking icon than the, you'd want a more applicable icon um, and you would find money and there we go it would change it for us um, and yeah we'll just remove that as well um, and you can even add a new feature so you could add another one in um, I recommend three is a good amount um, you don't I don't think you need too many more but for the sake of it if you would like um, you would like another one um, just say we've got the bike and it would be below there and yeah, and then you would have your other one there. But I don't think you need too many more than three. It's up to you because you can simply you can simply click delete field. And remember, you could you could edit this out as much as you like. You could delete both these fields and have just one big service in the middle. Really, just the sky is the limit here. That's what's incredible about this theme is you can just go through and you can fully customize it out. Okay, and then what you just want to do is make sure you hit publish and if we go back to our site now there we go look at that that's looking really it's starting to look really good okay so now we're going to move down our website even further so if we want to go back to customize now you might have this little message can't just click customize new changes and then scroll down and now because I know people would ask is you can change yes you can you can change this to whatever you'd like same process that we've done so if you'd like a different image here um, you would just hit that section there and there we go just hit change image um, and then you can same process we've I've shown you is you just upload it and then hit select and it will update it for you and you can have whatever image you like there so moving down let's go on to our about section so clicking our little icon there to take us to the right part you can make this about so um, or you can have whatever text you want there um, you could have it about us um, if you've got a multiple you've got a team there or maybe it's just about yourself um, you could have about me so um, then you could have you would have your tagline in here perhaps uh, yeah, so you could have that in there, but it, I don't really I don't think you need it need it So you could have about there and then let's go through and see how we do each of these so um, Just say we've got our first team member um, You could uh, go through and you could upload um, Whatever image you would like for there. So you would just simply hit um, that and you would hit upload file We'd select the image of yourself, put that in, let it upload, and all we do is just insert into post. And no, that is not a photo of me, but yeah, we're going to insert it into post. And there we go, all good. Now you'll notice they are slightly different in size. What you could do is um, when you upload your own images, they should naturally go to the um the, the same size it's just that this is already a pre-filled image um but if you do want to you like that size there and you want to keep that size um 
the dimensions of it are 400 by 400 pixels. So, so that's the dimension size you would upload it in and it will come up looking like that. So on to the next part is, as you can see, we have all of these links here. So we can go through and we can completely um, customize each one of these links and and we can go through and completely customize all of these links, which means you can have um, whoever you are there, you could, you could add links to all of your different things. So that would just simple as you would paste in your Facebook page there, your Google Plus account, your Twitter account, and your LinkedIn. Um, what's even better is that just say that you don't have, like again, you don't have a no one really uses Google Plus, so you don't want that there to be displayed. Just hit remove, and in real time, it'll update it. So that's I think that's really good, like that, and that's what you can do as well. Um, and yeah, so you would just go through, and you can change each member um, to your own images, your own names, and their their role. You can also go through. Just say you've only got two people on your team, one person. Um, you can easily go through and simply delete the person and it'll remove them and we can do that with this one too and delete. So um, if you wanted to add another member, just say you ha you wanted to you accidentally delete one, you realize you wanted them or maybe you have more than four members, you can just hit add team member and it's as simple as going through uploading an image, giving it a title subtitle text and then filling out all the relevant links so yeah that's that is our about section as you can see it's very easy to edit and you can make it completely your own okay so now we've got the about section done we're going to move down just quickly we'll go over the testimonial section um, so it's the exact same process as before we can go through and we can customize this um, so you can have it as whatever you want, which say maybe what what people say, and you can get rid of this here because again, I don't think it, I don't reckon you need that second one. And look, you can go through and change each one of your testimonials individually, change the image of the person, um, and each of these things here. And so it's just really easy to do, not much work and it comes out looking really nice. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, well, what happens if I don't want a testimonial section? What if I don't, it's not my sort of thing I want for my site. Maybe you've got a blog or a personal site, um, or you just don't want testimonials in general. Um, I hear you, you don't have to have it. So simply, um, you can just click, if you hit disable section and like that, it will just simply remove our um, testimonial section. And if you untick it, it'll come back. Um, so easy like that. And you can do that with any of the sections. If if um, you don't want this about like that, if you went back to that area, you could just easily click disable and it would remove it. So it's, yeah, it's very easy, all of it. So yeah, that's the testimonial section. Uh, if you notice, we scroll down here. Um, you'll notice that it goes into our blog section. But I, sh I told you guys we were going to be creating a um, subscription, email subscription area. So that's what we're going to integrate now. So, and this is going to be probably one of the most important things on your website. So before we go on to that, just make sure with all the changes we've made so far that you don't exit out of them. You just hit publish and everything we've done so far will be saved and made live on your site. Okay, so how we do it is we're gonna go back to Customize. You'll come back to here, and what you wanna to go to is Front Page Sections. Now, what you'll see is that the there's a thing here called subscribe and you'll notice that it's it's got a little eye with a X a through a line through it We just can click that it's because the section has been disabled so um, By default it's disabled. 
So now if we scroll down, you'll see that we have a subscribe to our newsletter section, but there's nothing in it yet. That's because we haven't installed the um, plugin that needs to be used for it. So how we do that is we go to this little section here, it says send in blue plugin. Simply just hit install and activate. Okay, so once that's done, it'll um, come up looking like this. Now, what you want to do is um, hit publish and make sure all the ch new changes we put in have been saved. And then, so now what you want to do is exit out of this. and you want to go to back to your dashboard and then go down to the send in blue plugin so now we have to configure send in blue so first we need to configure the plugin so if we just want to go through and go create account so you just put in your company just really whatever your business name is um, or your blog name, anything. It doesn't it, in the in the end it doesn't actually really matter that much. Um, and then put in your email, make up a password, and just hit get started. So it will. So what you want to do is go on up to your emails, and there you go. You've got um, your and then there you've got your email from sending blue you just simply hit confirm my email address so yeah so you'll be brought to here now what you want after you've done that it means you've confirmed everything you want to go back to um, your website where you were and you're gonna hit get your API key from your account so um, just simply hit that And then you're just going to get your API key, which is here. And then you're just going to hit copy and take it back and hit that and log in. And you come up saying you have successfully activated your account. Okay, so all that's set up, good to go. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to your site and you want to go back to the customize section again and you just want to go to um, remember our front page subscribe and you'll have here you'll have a crazy looking code all you do is copy that now we go back to um, we go back to our dashboard again I hope hope you guys are keeping up okay so what what we want to do next is go to send in blue then we want to go to forms and you want to go to edit in your default form section and you will simply paste in the um, code that we had before, remembering to delete the one that we had, um, delete what we had there previously, and then just simply hit um, hit save. Awesome. So that's all all good. All right. So once that's done, we just got one last thing to do to make sure this works. I know it's a bit of a process, but this is probably one of the most, if not the, mo the most important thing you can do for your website because uh, if you can get a subscription base, an email base, um, really it's, a, it's the best way for you to grow. So we're just gonna, one final thing is we're gonna go to customize and we're going to, and we're gonna go to front page sections and you go back to subscribe again and what you want to do now you see that it looks still a bit plain so you go add widget 
and you scroll down until you see send in blue widget. Click um, click on that one. Let it load up and then um, hit apply. And there you go. Look at that. Fantastic. So people can then type in their email, what it, uh, their email here, subscribe, and you can start building up a base of um, subscribers to your website. So yeah, one final thing is you can actually um, change the image again to whatever you like. So go through, have a look through Pixabay again, find an image and have it there as your background. So there you have it. We've got a, now you've got a subscription section on your website. Okay, so now let's move on to our next section, which is our blog section of your website. Now, yes, we've got it. We're going to have the ability to have a blog up here, uh, a, section, a separate section for your blog. But this is just to be able to display maybe um, your most recent article, which is its default setting. It'll 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 display your most recent article here. So go. Let's go through how to actually make how do you make a post. So. First, I want us to make sure we publish this, and then we can exit that, and I'll show you guys. So, you want to go back to our dashboard, coming our becoming our favourite place now, and you want to go to posts. Now, these are posts are where you make your where you make your posts, where you make your. This is where you go to um, put out content onto your blog. So you just want to go to here, and we don't need this um, this one here that they've created. Um, yeah, so it, we'll get rid of this here. We can and make our own. So what you want to do is um, you can just hit add new, and, and we're going to go through now and make a post. So you saw on my original one, I had a made up post about. Um, the benefits of a morning routine and morning routine um, is actually something I'm actually a very big believer in myself um, something I've, I've got into um, the reason I've integrated is because the way really the way you start off your day impacts how you'll feel for the entire day and you've probably all heard about morning routines and their importance but so many of us just put things off and we don't try to integrate them into our life and um, yeah I, I've found at least from since I've integrated into my life it's had a massive impact so if you are interested I'll eventually be creating a video on that but we're digressing a little bit now so yeah you can just type in whatever you'd like here um, and then so you can type in whatever here you can add you can add images in. I'll just give you a quick rundown. So just say you wanted to add an image in of um, of just say you had yourself an image. Remember you'd find your own and you can um, move it to wherever you like and we would have our image in there and yeah it's easy to use. It's almost like using Word. You just go through and you type it all out, put in images Here's all your images. You can put in um, links. Um, you can do bold, italic, whatever you want, really. And something you always want to remember when you make a blog post is to set a featured image. And it's basically the image that will be displayed on the front of the the blog post. You'll see in a minute what I mean. So um, I've got an image already that I found, and then we just hit set featured image, and it, and then all you do is hit publish. Great. So now if we go back to our site, and there we go. So we've got our blog post, which whatever is our most recent one, comes up, um, is displayed here. So you probably want to change this thing saying uncategorized because it doesn't look very nice. So I'll quickly show you how to do that. So you're just going to go to your dashboard again. 
And then what you want to do is go to um, categories, post categories, and you can go through and just simply make your own category. So you can make it whatever you want. Um, you could have it as motivation maybe, and then and then you just hit add new category, and just like that you'll have it added. And then you can you can edit this one. So maybe you just wanted to change it to um, instead self development, and then just hit update. Now if we have a quick look back at our website, you'll see, now see that it's got in its own little section of self development. So that's our blog section done. We've just got one final section to go. And yet, and it's probably the second most important part of our website, which is our contact form. Okay, so what you want to do is go back to customize. And then you're just going to scroll down on your website. And then, um, actually I've just spotted that. <laughs> Change that. Um, you don't need that, I don't think. Get rid of it. And there we go, looks much better. You could do that for yourself. And then coming down, this is our contact section. Now this is where we go through and we can completely edit this. So what you wanna do first is you can change get in touch. You can make that um, contact, contact us or contact me if you're just one person um, contact me really just or even just simply contact um, easy as that and then we can this here we can change the second tagline so something as simple as that and then you can change this here so if you wanted that to just be contact you can change that and then Next, what you want to do is you want to go to contact content and you want to go contact, contact, that's a mouthful, but yeah, contact content edit. Click that and now this is what you'll see here. So you can make this whatever you want. Um, you can make this our location and then type in whatever you want and then you can go through and you can make this whatever you like. Maybe just call me and then edit your name in there or your company name, business name, blog name, whatever you would like and then just simply hit save and close. Now you'll wait and it'll update there. So that is, as you can see, it is an absolutely fantastic um, looking contact page. There's a lot of contact pages out there that just look so, um, just so bland and boring And but um, this one, as you can see, is just really nice. Let's just publish it. So remember you can go through and edit this however you like, but yeah, let's publish that. And now another thing I should have said is change this big image here to whatever you like as well. Um, simply through the customization section. So if you just hit change image and you can make it whatever you like. So what we're going to go through now and do is just tidy up our, um, our menu sections here because remember these lead to separate pages so I'm going to show you guys how to do this and then um, you can apply it to whatever new pages you eventually may create so you're going to go to about now if you look at it it looks yeah it looks very very boring but I'll show you how you can make up your about page so what you want to do is just simply hit edit page and you want to you'll put in your about um, so you put in your about yourself or about your um, business or your blog, whatever you've got. You want to make sure you do is set a featured set a featured image for this, and you'll see why in a moment. So if we make a featured image for this, let's just say we're going to go with this one. Remember, you can make it whatever you like. Just for sake of today, though, um, I'm just going to make it this one. So we hit update. And now, if from here, if we hit preview changes, we can see um, what what we just did. And as you can see, look at that. That is just so much better looking. Um, obviously, you would probably have a lot more text here, 
and you would you could go through and you could um, add more spacing and it would make this bit um, bigger but there we go that's that's our about section and then we can just simply go through and do the same thing for each one so just say we've got our blog here um, again you go to edit page and um, you don't need to worry about writing anything here because that's not and then you set a featured image hit update and look at that starting to look like a really nice website now and we've just got one more page to do which is our contact page now we just same process again just hit edit set featured image make sure you hit update and then preview changes and look at that that is that is very very nice looking if we go through each of the pages they just from what they looked like before they just look so much better now um, so we'll come back to home alright guys so we're basically done now and now I'm just going to share with show you some really important plugins that I think all of you should get that'll just um, improve the functionality of your website and then also um, improve the visibility of your website so you're going to go back to our um, dashboard and you're going to go to plugins and add new now you want to go you, what you want to install is this Akismet anti-spam um, very important so um, when you make a website something you'll find is that um, is is that you will just naturally attract spammers I, I found this from websites I've created in the past and if you don't have some kind of um, protection system in place the spammers they will come and they will come in droves so to combat that you get something like Akismet and all we do is I'll show you through each of these individually but let's just install each of them first so you want to get this one Akismet um, highly important and you can just hit activate as well and then so if we go to settings Akismet anti-spam um, uh, so we just hit get our API key um, So you just want to put in your email address and then just hit, so once you put all that in, continue. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll be brought to this section here. And what you want to do is just hit add personal subscription. And um, you've, got, you've got this here and it's how much is Akismet worth to you? Well, we don't need to put in any of that. We're going to put it down to free because this is... For what they're doing, you don't you shouldn't need to pay for it really. So don't feel bad that you're putting it down to zero and then just hit create subscription. Okay, so just hit got it and you will have been given an API key. So simply just copy and paste that, come back to here and paste in your API key and can it connect. So that's our Akismet all installed, ready to go. Okay, so let's just go into my second recommendation for a plugin. So this my second recommendation is to get a plugin to back up your site because you just never know what could happen. Your website could for some reason crash and you don't have a backup of your site and basically you lose everything if you don't have a backup of your site. So having a backup is basically vital to your website it's very important so what you're going to type in is in plugins is backup and bring that up and you'll have a search come up and you want to go with this one here updraft plus just hit install now and activate once that's done so now let's go to settings and then updraft plus backups for the sake of um, getting through today's tutorial, I'm not going to go through every process of this, but it's very easy to do. Um, 
just simply go to settings and I'll show you just this part. So you just want to go through and you want to want to change your backup so that it does it daily, I'd recommend, and then retain this many scheduled backups. So after two, it would um, delete and then whatever the new one is will be put over the top because you don't want to be saving too many files on there. So two is a good amount really. And then um, database backup, make that daily. Um, you want that as well and then make it two. And then you can go through and select um, any of these here. So maybe um, Google Drive or Dropbox, whatever you'd like. And what basically what it will do, it'll send to those accounts um, your backup of your website so that if it ever crashes, you can easily restore it. And then all you do is you come down here and hit Save Changes. And, there, and it, what it would do is create a backup. It would also put out your backups here and once the backups are here, you can easily um, you can easily um, restore a backup. Okay, guys, one final plugin, and this is probably the most important plugin that you could get. So let's go to plugins, add new. Now, what we want to type in is SEO. Now, you may have heard of SEO before. Basically, what SEO is it stands for is search engine optimization. Now, if you don't have your website um, if you don't have your website made to be SEO friendly, well, good luck anyone discovering your site. So it's vitally important that you have um, good SEO, you have an SEO plugin installed. Basically what it will do is it'll help with your website appearing on Google search terms. So I'm not going to go into um, a whole rundown of how to use the entire plugin because it's just there's, there'd be a whole nother um, this would go for too long and that's not what this tutorial is about. The best one you want to get is either, is Yoast SEO. So you can, you can hit install now and then I want you to activate it. Okay, so we'll have our SEO. So, so you've been brought to here and basically if you watch a few YouTube videos out there, they will go into great detail for you how to set up Yoast's SEO, how to use it, how to employ SEO onto your website. I would highly recommend you do that, but I'll just give you a quick little rundown of what you should do. So what you want to do here is this is what Google search will look for. Um, so just say you wanted people to find your website because you were clean um, you a clean modern website that's the name of your business the name of your blog whatever you want to have that as your um, as your website name and then um, you can hit whether you're a person or a company um, I'll just hit person and then you could hit you put in Isaac Blenco and then you could hit, simply just hit save changes so that's just um, going to add some. Uh, that's just going to add some help with your cert ranking of your website. Very very basic SEO though that is. And then um, if you want, you could set up a Google Search Console. Um, Bing Webmaster to all this you can find YouTube videos on. And yeah, so that's the basics of it. I'll show you one more thing that this Yoast is good for. So if you go to your posts and um, let's just go remember I don't have any but let's go to the benefits of a morning routine now what's so good about this Yoast is that it breaks down your posts so your blog post perhaps and it um, it tells you it basically analyzes them and tells you whether it's SEO friendly and gives you hints of how you can make your 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 information more um, more readable by Google search and therefore make it have a better chance of your posts um, appearing in Google search. So if you go down here, um, you'll see, you can see what your, um, what it'll come up looking like, um, which is awesome. So that's showing you what it'll come up looking like on your, on Google search. So if people ever found it, that's how they would see it. And then, um, 
what you can do is you put in like a focus keyword. So um, for me, for this one, it would be morning routine. And um, you would have that there. That's a focus keyword, morning routine. Um, and then you have readability here. And it obviously, I don't have enough text for it to be able to do it, but it would tell you um, whether which words to use more, um, which words would help you rank better. And yeah, it's just an incredible, um, incredible free plugin. So that's it for the SEO stuff. Um, uh, like I said, watch a few YouTube videos on how to employ, properly employ SEO. You don't have to do super advanced stuff. You can just do the basics. Um, but yeah, it's something I'd highly recommend. Okay guys, we've got one last thing, the final customization of our entire site. I've left it to last, so it's, a, it's just a nice little touch to completely finish off customizing our website and then we can safely say that we've got our own fully customized website that you guys built all by yourself. So let's get to it. So you're gonna go back to the site and you're going to hit customize. So you're going to be brought. So you're going to be brought to here. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit site identity, and then you are going to go down to your site icon, or what is also called a fav favicon. So what a favicon is is basically see on these tabs that I've got up here. Each of them has a little cool little image like that that represents their their website. Their, so it's got their logo there. Here, we've got a HostGator one because, well, we got our hosting through HostGator. But we can make that um, into our own little logo, which just adds a nice, final little touch. And I think it's a perfect way to end up, end this um, tutorial of building your own website. So if we go to, we're just going to select image. I'm going to go with what I already have. So I reckon, because that's a really cool little logo, you can hit select and crop and then it'll go through let it process remembering that's what it looked like there before and look at that awesome so there we go that is our very own little icon there put up whatever you'd like there what you think suits it okay guys so there's only one last thing left to do and that's to click the publish button once you click this button, you've officially created your very own website. Okay guys, so this is the final step of this tutorial and something that I'd highly recommend that everyone gets. You've most likely already got your own email for your site that looks something like this. Your business name or maybe your name at gmail.com. Now, while this is definitely okay, it's nowhere near as professional as having something like Isaac at mybusinessname.com. Now, there are many ways that you can do this, including getting one through your hosting plan. The problem is that the interface that hosting services give you isn't very easy to use and can be difficult to set up and maintain, which is the reason for a long time I haven't used one. That was until I found out that I could actually use the Gmail interface but have my own personal email for my domain name. How? By using what is called G Suite. So what is G Suite? Well, basically G Suite is an upgraded version of Gmail that, in my honest opinion, is far better and far cheaper than any other email service provider out there. Here's what makes it so good. Number one, you get a personal email, which is so much more professional looking. Number two, you get all the benefits of Gmail. It's clean, modern, lightning fast interface. Plus, you also get exclusive features and apps that are perfect for business, such as collaborative file sharing, video conferencing, data security, and a heap more. I've already been uh, using some of the apps that come with it, and honestly, it's they're, they're fantastic. And then number four is you can create 
also create multiple emails under the one domain name. So this is perfect for if you're setting this up for a company or a business and maybe you wanna have your employees all coming under at whatever your business or company name is. So I just think that's fantastic. Now, of course, to get something like this or any form of personal email, it costs money. But luckily, unlike many of the other service providers out there, G Suite is incredibly cheap, and that's the reason I chose to use it. At just $5 a month, it is well and truly worth the money. I'm sure if you're like me, you spend $5 on a lot worse things. And honestly, I wouldn't be recommending this to you guys unless it had it's I've enjoyed it's been a benefit to me and I believe in the product. Okay, so let's get on to setting up your email. So once you click the link, you're going to be brought to this area here and you can have two options. You can either have the business option for $10 or the basic option for $5. But for this tutorial, we're just going to go with basic and you're just going to simply hit get started. Then we're, you're just going to simply type in your business name. So. If you're creating a personal brand, of course, you'd put in Isaac, you'd put in your full name. So I'd put in Isaac Blenko. Or if you're setting this up for a business, you'd simply type in your business name. Okay? Pretty self explanatory. So I'm just gonna go with this. And then you're gonna have an option here of number of employees that you have. You can choose whatever you'd like. I'm gonna go with just me, okay? And then you select your country and hit next. Okay, so this next part is your contact info. What you're gonna do here is just fill in your details. So I'm gonna put in and then you're gonna put in your current email address here. Now, for those of you out there who are already using another service like Outlook or Yahoo, whatever you're using, you, could, you can put in your current email address here and basically it will, you still receive some notifications um, from this account that you're gonna be setting up. So that's an option for you. But I already have a Gmail account and that's the, what, the, what I'm going to be typing in here. So I'm going to type in and hit next. And you're going to hit, does your business have a domain? Now, you're going to hit yes, I have one that I would like to use. If you don't, hit this one and it'll take you through where you can actually purchase your domain. But most likely you guys have already got yourself a domain. So what we're gonna hit is, yes, I have one I can use. Now, you're just gonna type in your website, your domain name here. So I'm gonna put in personal branding website.com, okay? So that's the domain name that I own. Of course, you put in yours. Okay, so you're just gonna simply hit next. here so at your website whatever you're gonna have so for myself I'd put in Isaac at personal branding website.com then you're gonna go through and you're gonna make up a password and then you're gonna to want to confirm that you are not a robot by ticking the box awesome and then accept agree and create account And then you're gonna be brought to this screen which says your G Suite account has been created. Awesome. And then you just wanna hit go to setup.
So then you're going to be brought to this area here and basically this is where you can add extra people to your account so or extra uh, accounts so you could have one that's like info at your website.com sales at your website.com but I'm just going to assume that you're just going to be setting this up for one person and all you need to do is simply go down to I've added all the email addresses I currently would like to use and hit next so all you're going to do is simply go to this one here which is add meta tag to your personal branding website so you hit this one and you're going to get given this tag here now they have the option of putting this into the css of your website i'm guessing that most of you out there really have no idea about coding and really don't want to even have to think about it or the potential risk of messing with your site which could stuff up your entire site so i'm going to show you guys a really easy way that you can implement this code into your website without having to edit any code so what we're going to do is you're going to copy this here uh, and then what you're going to do in your dashboard is you're going to go to plugins add new now we're going to search one called header and footer and when you just type in header it should come up okay this one here um, with the 500,000 downloads it's uh, one of the best ones available so you're just going to simply hit install now and then we're going to activate it and then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to settings and you're going to go to this one here called insert headers and footers and paste that code into this bit part here our scripts in header okay and then you just simply hit save and now if we go back to G Suite we just simply go to I've added it to my home page okay so the next thing we need to do is verify through our hosting service so we're gonna go across to HostGator and you just want to go to the HostGator home page you can hit customer login, log in, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to fill out your details, hit log in, and now we're going to go to hosting, mail, email here, the big email, big email icon there, click that, and you're going to scroll down, and you're going to see an area called MX entry. I want you to click on that scrolling down to the very bottom you're going to see here that we've got an email already there what we want to do is delete that one so that we can add our new so you want to hit remove and hit delete awesome okay now we want to go back and we're going to tick this box here awesome so we've got the next part now now looking at that you're going to feel a little bit confused that's okay I'm here to take you through it and you see it's not not as hard as you think it is it's just a little monotonous okay because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and copy and paste each of these uh, across so we're gonna put the first one in making sure you've got one in number one and then our record Then we do the second one, so we copy the five, and then we copy the destination, put it in. Again, copy, five, destination, copy that across, paste it in. And now our last two, so the ten, put it in priority, copy our destination here, paste it in, add new record. Okay, one last one to do, copy the 10, then copy our destination, and paste it in, add new record. Awesome. 
Make sure that they're all there and they look like they're in the right order. See one, two, three, four. Awesome, all good. Now what you're gonna do is we're gonna go back here and we're simply just gonna tick this one because we've put in our MX records now. Okay, so then it's gonna ask you to delete existing MX records. We've actually already done this. I showed you how to do it just before. So we're gonna hit, I've deleted my MX, existing MX. And then we're just gonna have this area here, which is gonna ask you to save your MX records. But HostGator, if you're with them, automatically do it. So we're just gonna simply hit verify and set up a domain, our domain. And all done, guys. Awesome, and we now have our own personal email. So you're just simply gonna hit next, and you're gonna be brought to here. Now, obviously, you have our different choices, but we're just gonna go with the $5 one. And then you're just simply gonna fill out your details for your brand new email. And this is the dashboard here for your new G Suite account. Now you're probably wondering, oh, where do I access my mail? Well, that's easy. You go up here to the top right and you click and you'll have your mail here. Okay guys, well, there you have it. You, but if you've followed these steps correctly, you should now have your very own personal email, not just the typical Gmail account. You now have your own personal email. Okay guys, so that's all done now. Our website's complete, we've got our website together. Well done and awesome job. I've just got one last thing to show you guys that I think you could be of real benefit to you guys. So I've actually got a complete guide to uh, WordPress and building a website. I've made this, of course, to show people through how to actually build their own website, which you guys have already done. But the thing is that I go into a lot more than just how to build a web website in this guide. I also go into other important things like optimizing your website. So if I'd highly recommend you come to, you check out this page. I've actually got a link for it in the description. And if you go to step six, optimize, you'll see that I've gone into detail with some recommended plugins for optimizing your website. I also go into, as we scroll down, um, we've, I go into more detail into SEO and I actually take you through step-by-step step how to use the, um, the Yoast plugin in more detail. And I've got some helpful resources here on the, uh, on more information on SEO. I also go into something that's very important now, which is getting an SSL certificate, which is this little thing up here, which creates a green padlock on your website. So I go through the importance of that and I link to a great video uh, that goes into how to set it up. And then I also go into the keys to a successful website because once you have a website up and running, that's just half the battle. You need to go into, you, the next thing is actually making your website successful. And I've tried to provide for you guys some of the 10 key points that are really gonna help you guys with growing your website and getting it out to your audience. So I'd highly recommend you come along and check that one out. You'll probably find some quite valuable information there. And I've also got just a small part here going into some other recommended th free themes that are out there, such as the Sydney theme. Now that you've got a guys that got a base or a knowledge of how to actually make uh, your website, you can go through and actually start trialing out some other free themes out there. Or I also have um, a list of some premium themes. So these are paid themes that can really, really bring some beautiful designs and customization to your website. And I also have a list here of 
some of the best places to purchase these themes as well as step you through how you actually if you do choose to purchase a premium theme how you go about doing it so yeah that would be another valuable resource for you guys all right guys well i just thought i'd show that to you guys before we finished up and just remember i'll have a link for it in the description below or if you're watching this on udemy i have that up in the resources section Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I definitely recommend checking it out. Well, there you have it, guys. You've made it. Congratulations. I want you to pat yourself on the back because what you've done is quite an incredible accomplishment. You can now officially say that you've created your very own website, and that is something that not many people can say they have done. If you've made it to the end of this video and successfully created your own website, then you clearly must be a driven person and have a passion for what you are doing. When most people would choose to waste hours and hours of their life watching mindless TV shows or videos on Facebook or YouTube, you've chosen to invest in your most valuable asset, time, and chose to use it to acquire yourself with a new skill set and save yourself a heap of money. Whether you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, a freelancer, or just a single parent trying to make ends meet, I wish you the very best with whatever it is that you are looking to bring into this world. Thanks again so much guys for watching through all the way to the end of this video. And honestly, one more time, congratulations. You've just equipped yourself with an incredibly powerful skill that will no doubt greatly benefit yourself and others in the future. I tried to make this video as easy to follow as possible, as well as provide people with a base for creating a really unique and modern looking website. If you feel that this video has taught you something or helped you create the website you've been looking for, then please give this video a big thumbs up and consider sharing it with others who you think might benefit from it. Also, if you've created a website using this tutorial, then, then please consider leaving a comment below with a link to your brand new website. I would love to see what you guys have created and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. Feel free to check out some of my other content on my channel and consider subscribing if you feel like it would be worth it. Well, that's enough from me. Now it's up to you to do something with your new website. So get out there, live your life, inspire others, and I hope you crush it.